Hello, everybody. I wanted to make a quick video because I pushed out the email about the pretest, which is again optional. But I got a few emails back from the new teachers asking how to actually push out that email. And I realized I was kind of assuming everyone just knew how to use Illuminate. So we've used it in the past. But new teachers, or if you're returning and you forgot all about Illuminate, this video is for you. Um, wanted to show you guys, let's share this, um, how to get to Illuminate, how to push it out. Because the document that I share with you guys was just the link that you would give to your students. Um, and that would push them to the test. But how do you monitor it? How do you see your results? Um, and all that sort of stuff. I also updated, if you haven't gone back and checked that document I emailed out, I did add a third column. Some people were wanting a paper copy, either because technology hasn't been rolled out or they prefer that. So you can give it via paper. Um, just do be sure that you share that data with me at some point. How to get to Illuminate for teachers. I have all the various links down here. So if you just click on the image for Illuminate, it's the kind of looks like a torch, um, but this would be Illuminate Education. And this is like our online testing platform. You'll use this at the end of every quarter for our district quarter test. So I'm just gonna use that link to get me in. And it should be that you just log in with Google. Now, accounts don't always work. So if you're having issues getting logged on to Illuminate, please let me know and I'll get that sorted out for you or get you on the right process to do that. This is what your main board should look like when you log in. I'm on an admin account, so it might look slightly different, but the main point of it is there. There's a lot of stuff that kind of you can go about, but the main thing that you need to worry about is viewing assessments. You can either access it by clicking this here or over here. If you click, you can go to view assessments. Doesn't matter, it takes you to the same spot. So we'll go ahead and go in. You can also go to your live proctoring on that page, which lets you see like what questions students are on. Um, if you teach multiple subjects and your test has constructed response that needs grading, you'll see that pop up there. All mine are multiple choice, so you won't have to worry about that. All right, once you're here, there's a few ways that you can search for any tests that I have created. Um, and you can see somebody's already done. This is green, which means that there's data. So someone's already done the physics first pretest. What you're going to want to go to is shared with me right here. Any test that you create, you can just go to my assessment. You could also go to all assessments that will show you any assessment that is yours or shared with you. But if you go to shared with me, if you don't already see all my science ones, um, then you can go to the search. You can either type in science. You'll notice for that for high school, I named them physics, chemistry, biology. Um, so be looking for those. Right now, you should just see the pretest. I don't think that I've shared the actual ones, um, the permissions on it yet. But when we come to the end of quarter, you'll see these. But it's the exact same questions. I just made a copy and labeled this one differently. So same questions. Um, so when you want to, let's say that you're in sixth grade. I know I have some sixth grade teachers who are new. So you can click on this. And this is how you'll be able to view um, all the results and everything. I should have clicked on the physics first one, but um, if once you have data, this main page will give you kind of a snapshot. It'll be um, like scores as they are right now but obviously there's nothing here and you only see the scores for students that are on your roster. So you guys should be able to go to, now this part is always a bit different, but I think I need to go back. Sorry, I should have been a bit more prepared. I'm trying to find how you can live proctor. Let's jump back. Da, 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 da. And sorry, anytime I'm filming, my computer runs really slow, which is making this video slightly longer. I did kind of point out that on the home page there was the live proctoring. Um, here you go. So let's look at this one since it's got data. 
You can administer it. Don't worry about that because I've already created the administration and there are certain settings already pre-made. So don't create your own administrations, but that will also take you to where you can view the link that I put in that document. That would be another way to do it. Preview would let you kind of see the test as a student would. And then view results will let you go ahead and see how the students are doing. So let's click view results um, since this physics first one has some data and then we'll close out the video before it gets too long. And see, here you go. You'll only see the students that you have access to. Um, and right now, this is just a good way to show, okay, here these students have finished the test. It would also show you if a student hasn't finished every question. But it looks like these students, uh, whatever school they are at, have finished it. And then once it's all closed out, um, there's other views for how you can get the grades. So, but this is a good way for tracking. And then live proctoring, I'll show what that looks like. Although I'm not sure if it works for me since I don't have any students rostered, but you can go to live proctoring and that would let you view any assessments. So here you go. You can live proctor the tests um, since they're open and that would let you view the students exactly where they're at on which question. So I think you'll find that useful. All right. I think that should help you guys get going. Sorry that I kind of forgot new teachers wouldn't know how to use Illuminate, but there's your quick um, introduction to that. I hope that helps and always reach out if you have questions. I'll see you guys in the next one.